Hi guys, today I'm going to go through capacitors in series and in parallel. Okay, so let's start off with capacitors in parallel because they're a little bit easier to understand. Now here we've got uh, three capacitors all in parallel. The voltage across the capacitors is going to be the same for each one. So each capacitor has got a voltage of V across it. Now to use the formula, the general formula, to work out the charge, uh, the charge on the first one will equal C1 times V, the charge on the second capacitor will equal C2 times V, the charge on the third capacitor will equal C3 times V. The total charge, which is going to be Q1, Q2 and Q3, is going to be VT, sorry QT, and we've got a voltage across uh, our little capacitor times by the capacitance of all the capacitors that will give us our total charge uh, and if we just substitute this in in here the, the voltages will cancel and we're left with the formula that the total capacitance is equal to C1 plus C2 plus C3 okay last one capacitors in series now this time uh, we've got our capacitors they're in series and each one has got a voltage across it so this is going to be V1, V2 and V3 unlike the, the voltage in the uh, uh, parallel where they all have the same voltage we know the total voltage across the whole chain here is V1 plus V2 plus V3 now V1 is going to equal the charge divided by C1 V2 the voltage across here is going to equal the charge divided by C2 and V3 is going to equal the charge divided by C3. Now we know the total voltage is going to be the sum of uh, these here. So I'm adding up these three here. So I'm just substituting this in here. That's where I get this. This goes in there. That's where I've got this term. And finally this goes in there. And that's where I end up with this. And we know that the, the total capacitance okay divided sorry the, the charge divided by the total capacitance is going to equal all this uh, if we can if we cancel both sides the charge on both sides we're left with the fact that one over the total capacitance is equal to one over c1 plus one over c2 plus one over c3 if you found this video useful don't forget to subscribe bye for now